Hi everyone, I'm Paul with Madcap Software. Going to talk to you today about uh, tasks and task boards in Madcap Central. So these are just, this is just a way to keep track of things you gotta do and organize it. So very important thing, but it's a very simple thing in Madcap Central. So in this video, uh, this is actually a series of videos. And in this video, we're going to focus on creating the tasks and the task boards. And uh, if you uh, then want to see the other videos in this series, just go to the very, very end of this video. You're going to see a link to the playlist. It has the other videos inside of it. All right, so let's hop into Madcap Central and let's begin and take a look at what these things are and how you create them. All right, I'm inside a uh, Madcap Central license called Fictionsoft, and I'm logged in as Lloyd Dobler. Very first thing, before you even create tasks and task boards, which are over here on the left, the first thing is you got to make sure you have permission to do it, because if you don't have permission, you can see tasks that are on the license, but you can't create them or edit them, work with them. So I'm going to go into this drop down, go into user settings and permissions. And I just want to make sure that I have this create edit tasks permission and Lloyd here has all the permissions, so he's good. Um, but you want to make sure you have this one. So that's good. Going to get out of that. Now let's go to tasks over here on the left. Now, uh, you already see a, a task board on here. A task board is simply is just it's a container that holds individual tasks. And uh, so it's a great way to just stay organized instead of having all the tasks in one place which is what central used to do but now you can create uh, multiple task boards now if you uh, created uh, tasks prior to us adding boards multiple boards you will see default board it's already going to create that for you and it'll put all your tasks in it. Now, if you uh, are coming to Central and you haven't yet created any tasks, this will be empty, this grid in here, you won't see anything, but you can create a new task board just by clicking this plus button, giving it a name. So for example, in my case, I'll do documentation on the Flare, on the products, Flare's uh, Madcap software's different products and the different versions. So maybe I create one called Flare 2021 R2 and I can uh, assign an owner. It doesn't really do anything special except lets everybody know, oh, this person is in charge of this board. And if you got any questions, go see him. But you don't have to assign an owner. You can give it a description. Oops, description. Uh, whatever you want in here, click save, and it's going to add it in here to the grid. And you can see I don't have any tasks in it yet. Let's open up the uh, default board, the one that already has uh, tasks in it. And you're going to see this. So this, if you're familiar with the, the term Kanban, this uh, looks familiar to you. So Kanban, it's actually a, a Japanese phrase. It means sign. So this idea goes all the way back to the 40s that actually started at Toyota. It's a way for them to um, organize the processes. And so even to this day, people will put signs on the wall and probably more likely sticky notes. They'll put sticky notes on the wall or all over their computer, except you know some people, it's not real organized. It's just, these are things I gotta do. But you can see there's three main columns in here because I'm on this, there, there are different views up at the top. And right now it says default board. It's just gonna say the name of your board, whatever it is. And this one just happens to be called default board, but this is a Kanban right in here. So you got to do, in progress, completed. And these little uh, rectangle things, these are tasks. These are all the things you got to do. Now, tasks, I like to tell people these in central are meant to be high level. So whenever we start, for example, um, a new version of uh, product software, we decide, okay, there's these new features we're going to have. And so I'll create tasks that are named after the features, but tasks can be anything. They, they could be, I, I got to take my clothes to the laundry. That can, it can be a task like that. It doesn't have to be associated with a project, but I'll do it like that. I'll create tasks uh, and just put in the task. I'll put all the basic information about it at a high level. Now you want to go deeper, lower level into the weeds. I uh, tell people, create checklists. And so you would go into the projects page and you create a checklist and 
maybe uh, put a link in the task to the checklist so that the two are related. But these are really high level things in here. So they are placed in these uh, three columns, depending on whether you got to do them, you're doing them, or you're done with them. Now, I know a lot of people will look at a can Kanban board, uh, sorry, Kanban board, and they'll go, well, yeah, but you know, our, our company, it's, it's uh, more complex than this. And I want to add columns and, and, and other things. There's all these extra things we got to do. You don't, you don't understand. We got to, you know, we got to, uh, arrange the phalanges and we got to synchronize the bicuspids and do TPS reports. You don't understand. Yeah, I get it. I trust me. I get it. Every company is unique and there's all these things you got to do, but the thing is, all right, the phalanges, arrange the phalanges. All right. You got to do it. You're doing it or you're done with it. You know, TPS reports, you got to do it. You're doing it. You're done with it. So this is really nice because it actually keeps it very, very simple in these three uh, milestones, if you will. So if you actually, if you think, well, we, but we just got all these extra things. Well, you can create multiple tasks that are sort of related to each other. Maybe one task is, is the first part of this and you got to do this first and then, and, and name it in such a way that you know that, uh, hey, once I'm done with this task, I get it all through, then I got to go to this other task and do this thing. Or you can go in or, and create these project checklists or both, you can do both. All right, so just to let you know, this is what you're dealing with when you're looking at this uh, default uh, or this uh, board view, this uh, Kanban board view. Now, uh, let's go back to the other one because we will just create a task starting from scratch. We'll go back to this board that I created that doesn't have anything in it. So this is an empty Kanban board and I wanna create a new task. So I'll click this plus button up here and then I'll give it a name. So again, these can be anything. Uh, most of mine happen to be happen to revolve around product features, but I have tasks that aren't around. It's just things that I got to do. So let's actually take uh, put in a task here. Um, micro content. We added micro content feature in Flare a few years ago. So let's say uh, let's say that it's brand new, it's a brand new feature. I, I wanna document it. So I'm gonna create a task around it. All right, so then I just go through this and I complete all of these different fields. I can set a priority level, low priority, medium priority, high priority. So this is just up to you. It's just your own internal use. And you will see these, the, the colors are associated with each one of these priorities. So you'll see these colors in different places. So I'll get into other things like widgets later where you'll actually see these colors, these priorities, just to let you and your team know that, hey, this thing's got to be done right away or, you know, it's just a medium priorities. You know, it's, it's, it's OK. And then you can um, assign an initial status to it. Now, by default, it's going to go into to do. But then, but you could advance it to in progress or uh, probably don't want to advance it to completed yet. And then there's also backlog and archive, which I'll get into, but usually you're just going to select to do. Now, start and finish dates. You can click this little um, icon here, this little button, and you can select when this um, task should begin and when it should end. Uh, I could just select a date in here and then go select another date somewhere in here. And you can even put times on it, or you can select all day event, which will automatically uh, have it go from 12 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. You can do that. This thing down here, the estimated hours right here, you can put, uh, actually it's right, this one right here, hours. So you could say, hey, we think this is going to take 60 hours of work. That's the thing. Where's 69? 60 hours of work. That's the thing. That's not really tied to anything. It's not tied to this in any specific way. It's, again, just for your you know, in, internal reference. All right. Uh, these things we're going to skip for now. These are just things that show uh, whether you've got comments or attachments on this. And we're going to talk about that in another video. Position, it's going to start out at the first position, the highest on your Kanban board on the list. Um, but if you have already multiple tasks in here, like if you've got 
10 tasks in here, you could say, hey, I want this one to be number four. And you could change the number there, but I'm just going to leave it at number one because it's the only one so far. Task board. Uh, I've, I'm creating it within this task board that I, I already have. So I can select another task board if I made a mistake and it's, oh, no, it should go in this other task board. I could select that. Owner. By default, it's going to, you're, I'm logged in as Lloyd Dobler, so I'm the owner and it's assigned to me. And that's the default, but I could change it and I could assign it to, you know, Jeff Lebowski here. And owner, you can also go back in and change the owner. Maybe Lloyd Dobler one day leaves the company and somebody else needs to own this thing. You could change that. You could associate this with a, a project, a flare project that you have uploaded. Uh, I'll just associate it with new project for now. So you know what this goes with, and you'll you'll be able to see it in the uh, um, in the, in the interface. What what project is this associated with? All right, now down below you got description, and you have this little toolbar that lets you format it in different ways. And descriptions actually, this is maybe the most important part of the task dialog for me because what I'll do is I'll create my new tasks. But but I'll also add this basic information about it that I'll refer to later. So it's very common for me to go in here and just write um, just a, you know maybe a short paragraph about what is this thing? What is it? And then in my case, I'll add other information in here too. For, exa for example, a uh, Slack channel. I might do that, that and say, hey, this is in... Uh, and I'm just guessing here, micro content. So we use uh, Slack to, gee, I can't even type. We use Slack to communicate. And so this lets me know, this, this just uh, reminds me that, hey, if I need to post anything or communicate with anybody about this, I can go into Slack and that's the channel. Uh, we also, I also will put in here like our PBI. That's, I think it stands for product backlog item. And uh, so I can um, reference this internal number, this link that is really the starting place for this in R&D. It's sort of like R&D's task for this thing. And it tells uh, a little bit about this, what this thing is and, and who's in charge of what. And so I could put PB, I could put a number in here or link to something. I could highlight this and I could come up here and I could put a link in here to that, uh, to that URL where the PBI is found. So that's something that I'll do also. Uh, I might put like the dev lead in here, um, you know, whoever is in charge of this. So I know who to go ask questions or maybe the QA lead, uh, you know, it could be somebody uh, or a Google doc. Uh, I'll, do that and again, highlight it and link to the Google Doc. I also will link to checklists. So uh, the checklist uh, is what I was talking about before. It's the, high, it's the low level. And so if I already have a checklist, I can go into my into projects and go to the checklist and then whatever the URL is up here, um, I'm just gonna copy that for now. This isn't really what I would do, but I would go to that checklist page and I would copy the URL and I would put in the link to it in here. And you see that turns into a link, so I can always get to it. I'm gonna uh, type over that uh, because then I'm actually linking to this board, not to that. And you can do other things in here too. You can uh, put bold or italics on this and uh, you, know, you can put headings in here and create lists. So the, uh, the, the Description is actually a really, really important thing. Spend time putting some thought into what should go in here, what's going to help you when you have to come back and reference this. Now, you also see a couple of other tabs at the top, discussion and attachments. We're going to talk about that in another movie. So we're going to leave that alone for now. And we're also going to come back in another movie and talk about move. So I'm just going to select save and it creates my task in here and I can just click X to get out of there. There it is. And it adds it there. And as I add more tasks, this thing is going to grow and grow. All right. So 
another thing real quick I want to show you before we get out of this video has to do with widgets. So you can add widgets to your home page or to the project page, to a project page or both. And there are a couple of uh, uh, widgets that are associated with tasks. And so widgets are just quick shortcuts to see information at a glance. And if I click this button up here, I can go down and I can select task calendar, task summary. We haven't gotten to calendars yet. That's another movie, but I'm gonna add the widgets anyway. And you can see it auto automatically populates with information in here, this summary of all the tasks that are assigned to Lloyd Dobler. And it gives you some colors in here, the different priorities and the numbers. And, and then the calendar shows, oh yeah, this one is, uh, there's a task right here. And you can click on that and it will actually, you'll be able to see the card down here. That's a different task from uh, the other board. All right, so you can use uh, widgets in here as well. So that is it for uh, creating tasks and task boards. And we're just going to move on to the next video. If you want to you know, go open up the playlist, you'll see the next video where we'll talk about moving tasks. And that sounds very uh, simple because it can just be a matter of actually clicking and dragging things, but there actually is, are a couple of other things to say about it. So that's what I'm going to talk about next in the next video, moving, ta uh, moving tasks.